Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The picture shown on screen is the initial view when you first open Word 2007. If you're an experienced Word user, you'll notice that this new interface is vastly different than the interface in previous releases. So this time, unlike recent previous releases of this program, even veteran Word users will need to take some time to reacquaint themselves with the interface and the objects within it. For new users of the program, as with any program, you should first start by familiarizing yourself with your working environment. This is where we'll begin exploring Word 2007. If this is the first time that you've used Word, then the first thing to notice is that the Word screen consists of two windows. There's the Application window and the Document window. The Document window opens up inside of the Application window, and the Document window is where you create and modify the actual documents. Note that you can close the Document window without having to close the entire Word application, so this allows you to open and close different documents without having to restart the program. Now when you close the entire application window, by clicking the X in the upper right hand corner for example, Word itself will close. It would also prompt you to save any open documents in which you had unsaved changes before it closed. Now the document window is inside of the application window and contains the actual document that you're creating. So you can have several documents open at the same time within Word. So now we're going to look at the names and locations of several tools that you'll need in order to create your Word documents. Now the first object that we will point out is the new ribbon at the top of the application window. This tool is where you can find all of the tabs, groups, and commands that are available for use within the Word program. So for upgrading users, you'll find that the new ribbon both replaces and combines the older menu bar and the various toolbars, such as the standard toolbar and the formatting toolbar, that you've been used to using. We'll discuss this and other tools in separate lessons within this chapter. You'll also need to familiarize yourself with the new Microsoft Office button that's located in the upper left corner of the application window. Clicking this button allows you to access the most common file functions, such as creating a new document, saving documents, and printing. Now to the right of the Microsoft Office button, and above the ribbon, is the new Quick Access Toolbar. You can easily add buttons to this toolbar for the commands that you use most frequently and wish to always have available. You'll notice several important buttons are already set here. So we have Save, Undo, Redo, and we've got Print. Now you can easily remove buttons that you've added to this toolbar. Of course, at the top of this window, you'll see the name of the current document that you have open. And this appears to the right of the Quick Access Toolbar in an area known as the Title Bar. Now below all of the tools, the current document is displayed. And this is where you'll create the actual content of the document, and most of the actual work and work will be done within the document window. Also at the right side of the document window, you're going to see a vertical scroll bar. You may also see a horizontal scroll bar at the bottom of the document if your document is wide or if you're zooming in on your document. You can use the vertical scroll bar to scroll up and down through your document, and you use the horizontal scroll bar if shown to scroll left and right across the document. Now speaking of zooming the document, you can now easily zoom in to increase the document's magnification level or zoom out to decrease the magnification level by using the new zoom slider that appears in the lower right corner of the window. Also to the left of that you can see the various document view buttons that allow you to switch the view of your document as needed. and so you can click those buttons to switch between the available views. Now that we have an overview of the major on-screen elements, where they are located by default, and what they're called, we can now look at the general use and functionality of the various on-screen elements within the Word application. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.